Emily was a well-known and gifted artist in her neighborhood when she was a young lady in her mid-twenties. Her paintings were a kaleidoscope of hues, each one expressing happiness, optimism, and the beauty of the ordinary. She used a brush to turn blank canvases into windows into her soul, displaying a world seen through eyes that valued all the colors of life. Emily's Haven was her studio, tucked away in a quiet area of the city. She could immerse herself in her job there, blocking out the outside world and concentrating on her actual interest. Her personality was often described by friends and family as bright, vivacious, and constantly full of energy, just like her artwork. Emily's biggest inspiration and pillar of support was her mother, Anne. Emily was first introduced to painting by her former art teacher, Anne. Emily's initial brush skills, color mixing abilities, and artistic perspective were honed in their tiny kitchen, which was decorated with paintings by Anne. They shared more than simply a mother-daughter relationship. They were also confidants, best friends, and colleagues in art. Emily's ambition to become an artist had been fueled by Anne's support and direction. Their mutual appreciation of art gave rise to a language between them that only they could understand, a language of brushstrokes and color. But when Anne was given a chronic illness diagnosis, her life abruptly changed. It was a protracted struggle with ups and downs over several years. Emily watched as the colorful woman who had shown her how to see the world in vivid hues progressively disappeared. Both Anne and Emily suffered psychologically as well as physically from the disease. Emily turned to her work as a common solace throughout her mother's illness. When Anne was well enough, they would paint together, sometimes just talking to each other with their brushes. For Emily, they were priceless moments, treasures to be kept close to the heart. One peaceful morning in October brought about the inevitable. Emily was left feeling as though there would never be enough time to replace the emptiness left by Anne's quiet passing from her sickness. Friends and neighbors, who all knew how close Emily and her mother were, expressed their condolences upon hearing the news. However, Emily saw the loss as more than just the death of a loved one. It was the loss of her inspiration, mentor, and a fundamental component of who she was. The world appeared to lose color in the days that followed her mother's passing, and Emily was forced to confront a reality that was radically different from the one she had known.